Hi guys, it's me, Carol Scott Hamilton, the Healthy Voyager, and welcome to the Healthy Voyager's Holiday Global Kitchen. Hey! I've got Zach Ward with me in the kitchen today. Hello. You've got a couple guesses. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas. Yep. Leg lamps. Well, well, there they are right there. Bullies. What? You shut up. Zach Ward? Uh -huh. He's Scott Farkas! It's actually Scott Farkas, you little monkey. Yellow yes, eyes! It is Scott Farkas. He doesn't have yellow eyes. Arr, and he's no. not mean! No, that's not true. And he's gonna help me make... Yes! What are we gonna make? Peppermint chocolate brownies. Oh! And then after you're done, you can hang them on a Christmas tree. Well, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna need. Okay. But after... Yep. ...you tell me what you're doing these days. I will do that. I know it's Christmas time, but he just came out with a scary movie called Don't Blink. Yes. Don't, Tell us about that. Uh, Don't Blink stars Mina Savari and Brian Austin Green and myself and Joanne Kelly and a cast of wonderful actors and it's like 10 little Indian sort of Hitchcock Twilight Zone-ish. Go up to a cabin and people start disappearing and then it gets really scary and people kind of lose their minds and... Uh, nice. Yeah, it's an independent feature film. We did it and it's out and it's in theaters and I'm very proud. It's my little baby. I love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tell everyone what they need. Okay. And then we'll start with the brownies and then all the yummy stuff. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so first you're gonna start with brownie mix, whichever kind you like, so you just make it per the specifications on the box. We're using the organic Arrowhead brownie mix and it calls for two egg replacers, a half a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, and a quarter cup of water. For the icing, you're gonna need a half a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, a half a cup of vegan butter, one and a half tablespoons of heavy cream. You can use a vegan heavy cream, which is made of tofu or cashew cream. We're using coconut cream to make it a little more decadent. And a teaspoon of peppermint extract. For the last topping, you're gonna need four tablespoons of vegan butter, six ounces of semi-sweet baking chocolate, and crushed peppermint candy canes. So it's yummalicious. Let's do this. You wanna get started? I do. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start with the brownie base first. Okay. So while that's baking, we can start on the icing. Okay. All right, so it's super easy. You just take the brownie mix, and we're gonna dump the water in. Water. And the egg replacer. Make sure it gets all in there. Okay. And then the oil. And again, depending on the brownie mix you're using, make it per specifications on your rocks. But this one called for this stuff, and generally it's kind of the same. So now, Zach, my assistant, is going to beat the brownies. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to spray it by anything. Here, we'll do a little, a little of that action. And we'll use a little spatula action too, just to make sure okay. we don't miss any of that yummy stuff. Because you don't want the chunks in there, or you do want chunks. How do you No do chunks. We're going to get it to um, like a pasty kind of consistency. Okay. This, um, it definitely turns out to be a brownie-like consistency, but it'll be a little bit pastier because we're making bars. So you want it thicker. Than... A little bit thicker than like the usual like really liquidy brownie. Okay. But what makes them good and liquidy is there's chocolate chips in this mix. Oh uh, yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, so if your mix doesn't have chocolate chips, go ahead and add some in because that'll help it make it be ooey gooey. Sort of like aggregate in yes. concrete. Yes. Concrete Very brownies. Very common reference in cooking is... Concrete. All right, I think we got it good there, yeah? Zach Rooney. All right, uh, I like shall it. I kill it? Yeah, kill it, kill it. Boom. So let's make sure we get, all that's that always yumminess. the tough part where you like miss all that good stuff. Right. Or you miss it and it just goes in your mouth. But this is your favorite part, like the, if you're a kid. Oh. This is the great, you stand there watching your mom make it with your little nose over the counter, staring desperately, hoping that she'll be like, here you go. All right, well, since we're talking Christmas, yes. here, we'll just set that like aside yeah. for now. Okay. Because now we're gonna just spread it. And because we're making bars, mm -hmm. we're not making thick brownies like in a brownie pan, because brownie right. pans are like square and thick. Right. We're making kind of a thin layer. Right. So all we're gonna do is just kind of get all this stuff on the pan, and then you can help me smooth it out. That sounds awesome. And you don't want a full-size cookie sheet because unless you double the batch. Okay. Um, because it won't spread too, oh. It won't spread enough, and it'll be too thin. Gotcha. Then so it'll be burnt on this some is like and... a half of a regular cookie sheet. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Go ahead. I want to say thank you for the horribly ugly sweater. That's the That's really best awesome. part of the holidays. You can be as tacky as you want. See, like I even got Santa Claus earrings. Did you? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, uh, those are classy. You can just, this is the one time of year, besides Halloween, that you can just be tacky <laughs> and silly. I love it. So, Christmas story, yes. of course. It's a, not even a cult favorite, it is just a favorite. Yeah. But what is your favorite Christmas movie outside of A Christmas Story? Wow. Um, the Shawshank Redemption. That, nothing says Christmas like prison and poop. <laughs> <laughs> or the redemptive qualities of struggle and integrity and tenacity and crawling through poop. Yeah. So. Well, sometimes we all have to crawl through poop through the holidays. As right? she makes brownies? Yes. Merry Christmas, kids. It's very, very appetizing. Just like Christmas. There's happiness and there's weirdness. Mm -hmm. Ah, the holidays. All right, well, once we get this all nice into one layer, we've okay. already preheated our oven to 350. 350? And because they're thin, they're gonna bake up really quickly. Really? And it's only gonna take like 15 minutes for oh, these awesome. babies to be ready, which is just enough time for us to make the icing. Great, I this see. is cool. All right, so we've gotten our brownie mix nice and flat. Looks awesome. And it's ready to go in the oven. Yay. Time to bake. Okay, so our brownies are baking. So while they're baking, we're gonna make the peppermint icing. Awesome, I'm very excited. Again, it's very easy. So it's a little dumperoni action. What is that again? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Vegan butter. Vegan butter. All right, and this? Then we're gonna put in our coconut cream. Coconut. Which makes it nice and thick and whippy. The lime in the coconut. And then the magical Christmas ingredient, peppermint oil extract. So that's gonna be really yummalicious on top of the brownies. This is? It's strong. Oh yeah. That would make it that's strong. <laughs> that is really strong. It's strong. So we can mix it a little bit like this. Okay. But then we're gonna wanna use the blender? Yes, the okay. hand mixer so that um, it gets nice and whippy. Okay, you let me know when to jump in there. You can jump in, so Do you want it on high or low? Uh, we're gonna put it on low. And okay. we're gonna start it inside the bowl, so, and we're gonna do a little bit of this action again. So it's gonna whip into like a nice little cream. All right. Creamy icing. And I'll do what we did last time. So we're gonna whip it until it gets all completely integrated, and then it's gonna be a nice little thick icingy texture. Yeah, it feels while we, stickier. Yeah, it's a little stickier. And once the brownies have cooled for a few minutes, is when we ice it. Okay. Then we're gonna pop this in the fridge. And it hardens up And it there. hardens on top of the brownies. Very cool. It's gonna be like yummy little bars. So how am I? Am I good now? All right, I think we're good. Okay, so this is ready. We're gonna get the brownies out of the oven. We'll let them cool for a bit. And then we're gonna ice them. All right, so we took the brownies out of the oven. We've let them cool for about 15, 20 minutes. All right. So now we're gonna ice them. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. All right, so. I'm gonna slather this on there, and then you can you can ice ice baby these guys. <laughs> yeah. And what's fun about this? It's gonna thicken up a little bit in the fridge once okay. it cools. So you can do the honors. Oh, well, he's gonna lick it first. Mm. Try it. That's really good. It's pepperminty and creamy. And I'm just spreading it around evenly. Just and spread it around evenly. That sounds simple enough. It's simple enough. Yeah, it'll be a nice little coating, and then when we drizzle the chocolate on top and then put the candy canes on it. Yeah, it's gonna look really pretty. Is this, a, am I doing this properly? Doing a fabulous I job. I what I'm doing. I'll do, I'll do right. a last little. Do the performance. A last little bit, let's make sure. Oh, that's so much better. It's so much that's, better. That's, you know, I didn't see it before now because I <laughs> couldn't imagine the level it would go to <laughs> with how, what she's doing. It's just. <sighs> Our icing on there. Perfect. And now we're just gonna take our iced brownies, right. put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to drizzle some chocolate on it, which we're gonna make right now. That's awesome. All right, so our brownies with the icing are chilling in the fridge. Okay. So in the meantime, we're gonna make our chocolate sauce that okay. we drizzle on top. Awesome. Which is super easy to do. If you don't have a double boiler, you're gonna wanna put a little glass bowl on top of a small pot filled with water. So something that can handle heat. 
um, because if you put chocolate directly into the pot itself, it's going to burn. Right. So this way it just melts evenly. Oh, neat. So if you don't have the double boiler, this is a nice little easy Great. fix. But since we're making like a chocolate sauce, we're going to make the base uh, a vegan butter. Because otherwise the chocolate won't harden too much and be more like like a chocolate bar on top of the oh, bars. Oh, that makes and sense. And this will be more of like a sauce. So we're gonna put the butter in there and it's already at room temperature, so it's already a little bit melted. And then we're gonna do a single layer of chocolate because if you put it all in at once, it won't melt evenly. Okay. So it melts more quickly if you start with a single layer. So the butter is already getting nice and hot, so it's right. gonna melt this chocolate down pretty quickly. And then once you see it start to melt down some more, you can add in a, lot, a little more chocolate. Okay. Because then it's just gonna just the domino effect of melting. All right, you wanna dunk some more chocolate in there? Dunk. Let's dunk it. So is there a certain texture you're looking for? We just want it to melt down. So when this is done, mm -hmm. we're gonna let this cool just a little bit. And by then, our other stuff is cooled. Right. Drizzle, right. candy cane, cut. Awesome. Eat. Okay, so our chocolate is done. Okay. See how it's like a nice drizzly consistency? Yeah. So it's not gonna harden like regular straight chocolate would. It's good to go. We're gonna take it off the heat, let it cool, and get the brownies out of the fridge so they've been chilling like villains, and then we're gonna drizzle. That sounds awesome. Brownies? Yeah. Cooled? You look great. Ready for drizzle. Yes. So you want help? Do this? Yeah, I do. I All do. right, we're just gonna. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You can have fun. It's Jackson Pollocky. Take and just kind of like, yeah. You just take a little. Take and a just little. Kind of let okay. it, and then let it kind of, it'll blob a little, but that's all right. And if you want, you can also take a toothpick and kind of swirl it. What do you mean? I will show you. We'll do it with the tip of the knife. Just to give you a little tutorial, I'm not going to do it like this, but if you don't have a, a toothpick, you can just kind of like run it through. Oh, I see what you mean. And kind of like do this action. This is a little too big of a knife, but you can see how it swirls. Right. And then you can kind of swirl it with the yummy icing. All right, so we've got some good coverage, chocolatey coverage. Now, the finishing touch before we cut into squares. Okay. Is we're gonna take some of this peppermint candy. Alrighty. And just kind of like throw it on. So if you get big chunks, it's a bonus. If you get little dusty stuff, that's fine. All right, well that looks nice and festive. Yeah, that looks cool. Looks like just Christmas all over it. All right, well, now we're just gonna cut them into squares. So, yep, cool beans. We'll put that guy over there. Yeah. And then once we've cut them into squares, we're gonna just serve them up. All right, so we've cut them into squares. So we're just gonna serve them up Christmassy style. All right, these two have our names on them, Zach. Do they? I think so. All right, well, I think that looks kind of pretty. That looks great. All right. Well, I think Zach and I are gonna go devour these yummy peppermint chocolate brownies. Yeah, that we made. That we made <laughs> together, and Zach helped me do it. See, Scott Farkas ain't so bad. Not so bad. He's so great. We're gonna eat these, but we wanna hear from you. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, requests, any comments, put them down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss any videos. Go to healthyvoyager.com to find out more cool recipes, holiday tips, and Zach, what's your website? My website is zachward.me or check out uh, Don't Blink the Movie or hit me up on Twitter uh, at TotalZachWard. Awesome. Hey, yeah. And you're on Instagram, Total Zach yes, Ward. Yes, ma'am. Well. I think it's hashtag Total Zach Ward. Oh, I love it. And you can find me all over social media at Healthy Voyager Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram. You got it. Fantastic. But I think that's it. So we hope you have very happy and healthy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Bye.